upcoming opponent could possibly be Vasily Hitech Lomachenko. A fight that I felt that should have happened some years ago. It's your boy, Mr. 926, aka Bushido the Dragon, aka the Black Maze, aka I can just do this all day, the two time demonetized champion of the world. I need y'all to get the likes up, man. Get the likes up. Smash the like button. We have 350 people and 90 fucking five likes. Check it out, man. It's been Tang Mania for the past several days, right? It's been nothing but Tank Davis news in the sport of boxing. Tank Davis definitely moves the needle. Now, I'm hearing rumors that the pay-per-views, right? And normally the pay-per-views don't come out to that following Wednesday. But apparently, you know, certain guys really, really look for the pay-per-view numbers. And me, uh, it is what it is with me. I tell you guys all the time, whatever numbers, whatever the numbers they're giving us, subtract subtract about 15, 20% off of what they give us. I don't believe none of the numbers that they give us the pay-per-view. It's probably a lot more or less than that, right? Probably 50% of what they tell us is 100,000. Oh, well, it was really 50,000. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I believe on pay-per-view anyway. I don't think anybody necessarily is a real pay-per-view draw in the sport of boxing unless two guys that got some juice come and meet, and then we can have a big pay-per-view event like Ryan and Tank did. But apparently, according to Rick Glacier, right, and we know Rick Glacier is Mr. Anti-PBC, but for whatever reason, he seems to know what would be going on in these boxing streets. And he says that's true, under 200,000 buys. And that's what Benavidez is on it. Now, I believe that Bob Arum also had an interview saying that the numbers, the pay per view numbers for the fight was very, very low. Now, Bob Arum seems to be knowing about everybody else's pay per view numbers, right? Even though he himself don't really do pay per view, he seems to know about everybody else's numbers, right? These old, old school dudes be knowing these numbers, guys. and Maybe they do got somebody behind the scenes that's telling them what these pay-per-view numbers be looking like. And that, that I told you guys before, Tank Davis um, and all these guys, man, they they not really like drawing like 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 they lead us to believe. You know what I'm saying? They not really drawing like they would lead us to believe. But whatever the case may be, pay-per-view is a hard sell, even for guys like trying to Tank Davis. But Tank Davis' next opponent could possibly be for the silly Lomachenko. A fight that I wanted to see years ago. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, Bob Arum came out and said that um, he's open to it. He's willing to work on it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like Bob Arum was all in with this fight happening. Now, who would go where? Will, will Tank Davis be able to go on ESPN? I think that would be ideal for Tank to fight on ESPN. That would be pretty cool to see Tank Davis fight on ESPN. But will he go do it? I don't know, right? Would that be a thing that would put a block in that fight? Possibly, but then again, when you got guys like Turk Alashiki on the scene, it's like, man, he's really making things happen. So it seems like everybody else got to make things happen. And I think the fight that should happen is this fight between Lomachenko and Coach Kenny Ellis, one of the trainers with Durante Tank Davis, believes so as well. And he says this quote, because of the strong rumors in the air, phase one, I'm studying Lomachenko if and when this fight happens. Please let him come with his angles. And Hopefully, he will let Timothy Bradley work his corner so he can pick up Loma's shoes when Tank knocks him out of his socks. Wow. So that's the first shot at Vasily Lomachenko um, since we heard about this potential matchup, right? This is the first shot Coach Kenny Ellis said he's going to knock Lomachenko out of his socks, right? He's going to have Tank knocking him out of his socks. He's going to be checking for those angles, and he's going to be blocking those angles, and he dares him to try those angles. Yeah, man, this will be interesting. I think that matchup is probably one of the most interesting matchups in boxing on paper. I think it still does have some luster, even though Lomachenko is older now and took some losses um, since we first really started talking about this fight years ago. Um, I don't necessarily think it – I think Lomachenko still has something left to tank, but I think it needs to happen now. He don't need to fight nobody else in the meantime or nothing like that. He needs to go right at the tank right now. You know what I'm saying? If he waits too long, Tank's just going to only go to get better. Um, and Lomachenko's going to going to get older. So I think that fight is a fight that should happen sooner than later, maybe sometime later this year, and, you know, after Lomachenko's next fight or whatever Lomachenko decides to do. Who do you want to see him fight next? <sighs> Shakur Stevenson. Okay. Now, Lomachenko is a brilliant, brilliant tactician and a brilliant boxer. Footwork is magnificent, very experienced, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. 
My issue with Lomachenko is that I don't know if Lomachenko has the power to stop Javante. Do you want to see him fight next? <sighs> Shakur. So, Stephen uh, says that he don't know if Loma has the power to stop Tank, but he wants to see Shakur fight Tank. Uh, I don't know. I'll argue. I don't know who has more power between Shakur and, 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 and Loma. I'll damn near argue that Loma has more power than Shakur. You know what I'm saying? I'll argue that. You know, I, I, I'm not sure if Steven got that one right. He got that one wrong right there. I'm not sure if he's right about that one. I could be wrong my damn self. But I feel like Loma Chico got a little more power than Shakur Stevens. I don't necessarily think that's going to win the fight against Tank either way. Tank has an iron chin on him and a, and, and, and a pretty strong will. I think it's going to take something like Loma Chico to really, really befuddle Javante Tank Davis. Or maybe even somebody like Shakur Stevens who also has a, um, a very um, strategic um, approach to the game. You know what I'm saying? Really, really elusive, good defense, everything like that. So it's going to take somebody like that to probably frustrate Tank, but Tank Davis will keep coming like the Tank. Um, I think both guys, Shakur Stevenson and um, Vasily Lomachenko, are great matchups for Javante Tank Davis. But could either guy beat Tank Davis? I don't know at this point. Tank Davis, he's that guy. You know what I'm saying? He's that fucking dude. Uh, no matter what you bring in, he seems to be able to handle it. You know what I'm saying? He seems to be able to handle whatever style you bring to the ring. He is able to fight in a variety of different ways, and he always got that crazy, crazy, nasty, explosive power. But, yeah, man, tell me what you guys think. Coach Kenny Ellis says that they are preparing Javante Tank Davis for a potential Vasily Lomachenko fight. Tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, Hodgeboy. Peace out.